Hi, welcome to RC Power on TV. I'm Don Stigall, and this video is about taking some male molds out of some rivets Q40 molds that Dan Kane Jr. had made. I made these molds so that I can make more rivets molds. I'm sending the originals back to Dan. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been doing a series and I put the last layers on the molds yesterday and they should be pretty fully cured, especially the surface coat and the early layers because they've had many days to cure. I'm going to now try to take the male molds off. When you're taking fiberglass parts out of molds, there are four basic techniques that you typically use. One is force. It takes a fair amount of force to break free a mold from a plug or a mold from a mold. Um, and even though I put PVA and wax on the edges of the original molds, I may have gotten some fiberglass down on them. So I may have to do some trimming while I'm doing the demolding. But the other uh, techniques are to use leverage. You can use plastic wedges. I use these little uh, stir sticks. Compressed air works pretty good on um, fuselages, but on mold to mold, it doesn't really typically do a whole lot for you. The other one is shock. Nothing beats a rubber mallet for causing the parts to break free. And that's actually what I'm going to do first. I typically start at the tail. I don't know why I started at the nose. <clears throat> but I've got to get the flange is free anyway.
These are sounding pretty good right now. And we now have a mail mold. I didn't get quite enough surface coat in a few areas, but that won't be a problem. <clears throat> that was a pretty easy release. Let's hope the other half goes as well. And there's no damage to the molds whatsoever. So Dan gets his molds back in pristine shape. The first side came out very easy. So I'm going to repeat exactly what I did before. However, this time I'm starting at the back. Now I have the left side, just like the other one in some places. I'm missing surface coat. When you're putting black surface coat in a black mold, it can be a little difficult, but that'll still sand and polish just fine. Um, the molds, the metal molds look very good. I should have no trouble making female molds from these. So, <clears throat> that's it for my fiberglass work on video for a couple weeks. It's the middle of January and I've, and I've got to build some quickies over the next couple of weeks. 
Plus, I also need to assemble a couple of my own airplanes. And um, there will be some videos. May not be any fiberglass videos. There will be a full length video of this rivets mill mold making process. So you can see how I do it. Uh, my way is just one way. Uh, but uh, as you see, I got pretty decent results. And um, now the molds can go back to Dan and he can make some airplanes, make some modifications or whatever he's planning to do. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll subscribe to rcpylon.tv. You can also go to donstegall.com. I typically post the videos in both places because I have a thousand subscribers or so on donstegall.com. I need more subscribers on RC Pylon TV, so if you like the videos, please subscribe there as well. For those who know, I've had some health issues. My health issues seem to be mostly resolved, and I'm looking forward to a good 2018. So 2018 has started off good with this project, and hopefully I'll be able to make it to some races in 2018. So. I'll see you on the line and hopefully at the races.